car in my pocket. There you are, Grandpa. It's finished. It's wonderful. Looks just like Sunny Sands. Our town is called Sunny Sands because it's always sunny and it's by the sea. We love spending time at our beach at on the beach. And you can see the lighthouse from my bedroom window. This is Mum and Dad's bike shop. And here's Miss Smiley's Cafe, which serves the best ice cream sundaes in the world. Then there's Mr Whoops's shop, where you can buy anything and everything. Everyone loves Sunny Sands. And today, all of Mum and Dad's friends in Sunny Sands had sent cards because it was their wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary! What do you think? <laughs> do you like it? It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. What a lovely surprise. And speaking of surprises... Oh, oh my goodness. <gasps> oh, it's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> I'll treasure it. <laughs> I'm going to wear it all the time. I'll never take it off. Never, never, never. Oh, yes. Dad had just given Mum something to treasure forever. Dad went off to the bike shop. See you later. And Mum went into the garden to pick some flowers. She had a new hobby. Flower arranging. Mum's always taking up new hobbies. One week it's karate, then it's salsa dancing, then cake decorating, the ukulele, knitting, opera singing, So Mum was picking flowers, when suddenly... My necklace. Oh, it's gone. Oh, no. It didn't. It couldn't have. Oh. Mum! Got my towel. Got my swimming costume. It's time to go. Jemima was going to her first diving lesson. Look, I've even just Peter in his diving outfit. Peter was one of Jemima's favourite dolls. Mum was looking worried. What's the matter, Mum? I can't find my lovely necklace. I think it must have fallen in the pond. Oh, Mum. And you promised Dad you'd never take it off. Don't you worry. I'll find it for you. Oh, no, Grandpa, you mustn't. I don't want you ending up in the pond. Well, we'll have to look for it later. What am I going to tell Dad? Oh, how silly of me to lose it. Well, Jason, it seems to me that someone is going to have to dive into that pond and find the necklace. I knew what Grandpa was thinking. And what is it that gets us out of all kinds of trouble, eh? My shrinking cap. I'm the only one who knows about Grandpa's magic shrinking cap. When he puts it on, he shrinks like this. And this. And this. Nobody else is allowed to see him. He gets up to all kinds of mischief. He can drive my toy car. He can fly my toy plane. Oh, yes. When Grandpa's wearing his shrinking cap, anything he gets into or onto will go. He can get into all sorts of very small places, like in the teapot, on the top shelf, in Beowulf's basket, under the floorboards. And sometimes he likes to get into my pocket. Oh, yes. I don't know what I'd do without my shrinking cap. Neither do I. Pass me, Peter. If I'm going diving for treasure, I'm going to need a wetsuit. I knew there was no stopping Grandpa, so I picked up Peter, but just then... The doorbell went. Oh, no. Who could that be? It was Great Aunt Loretta. I've come to cook a lovely meal for Mum and Dad oh. for their anniversary. Oh, but it looks like I need to clear up a bit first. What a mess! Oh, yes. Grandpa's sister had arrived. She makes really weird food, like sausage with sardine sauce. And she drinks green gloop. I 
that she's always stubbing her toe. We have a pack of peas in the freezer that we always put on it. And she's often like this. Or like this. And she makes Grandpa feel like this. Look at all this muck. And I love that old thing too. It's going in the bin. I don't know why you're so attached to it. You've had it forever. But Grace on the letter. No buts. It's a dirty, smelly old cat. And that is the right place for it. This was a disaster. But luckily, Grandpa had a plan. I'll get the diving gear off, Peter. You go and get the cap. Now, this is what you'll do. Miss Loretta? Mm, yes, what is it? Oh, these onions are making me cry. Um, Dad gave Mum a necklace for her anniversary, but she lost it. What? Already? Oh, typical. I think it might have got swept up and put into the bin. Well, you better have a look then, hadn't you? <laughs> Great Aunt Loretta was so busy blowing her nose that she'd forgotten about Grandpa's cap and I was able to rescue it. <laughs> well done, Jason. I'm ready. Now, once I'm small, these will just about fit me. Oi, Jason Mason! Now, Grandpa. I've had to clear all this up off the floor. Oh, I see. You fished it out the bin, did you? What are you doing? Get Give back to me. It's not yours. You no, you're not. That's it's my dirty old cap. Give me your give it My grandpa gave me that cap. Well, now it's going in the dustbin outside. We couldn't let this happen. Ah! Uh, Luckily, Grandpa had an idea. I saw something move inside the bag. It must be a mouse. Ah! Help! Ooh, ooh, call me when you've got rid of it. I quickly got the cap out of the bin and handed it to Grandpa. I'm going swimming. Shrink, Grandpa, shrink. <laughs> and Grandpa was off. Now you know what he's like when he shrinks. He just wants to have fun. So he zoomed along the floor, climbed up the table leg, then ran along the shelf. Suit on. Soon Grandpa was dressed in Peter's diving clothes and was ready to jump. The good news was that Grandpa had finally got into the pond. The bad news was Dad had just come home. I'm home! Would you believe it? I've had a puncture. I didn't want Dad to spot Grandpa's snorkel. Don't come out yet, Grandpa, or Dad will see you. What are you doing, Jason? Nothing. Mom and Jemima back yet? Not yet. Good. That'll give me time to fix this. Dad's always mending things, especially bikes, because he runs the bike shop in town. He fixes tyres and wheels. chains. He's really good at fixing bikes. Where's Grandpa? Gone for a little lie down, has he? Grandpa was still under the water, but he couldn't stay there much longer. I needed to find a way to get Dad out of the garden. Then I remembered. Guess what, Dad? Great Aunt Loretta's upstairs and she's really upset. Oh no. Why? She thought there was a mouse in the rubbish, but there wasn't. I'll go up and see her. It's all right. You can come out now. <coughs> Hurry, Grandpa. Quick as you can. <coughs> Grandpa got back into his own clothes while Dad was upstairs with Great Aunt Loretta. He ran into the sitting room, took his cap off and was soon back to his normal size. Meanwhile, I put Peter's wetsuit back on him. Did you find it, Grandpa? Of course I found it. <sighs> You're amazing. I couldn't have done it without you, though. Teamwork. Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly did a dive. Oh, well done, Jemima. I'm going straight outside to try and find my necklace. No need. I said we'd find it, and we did. In the pond. <gasps> oh, Grandpa. You 
shouldn't have. Oh, thank you. Peter's all wet. Jason, I suppose you're going to tell me that he died for the necklace. Um, kind of. Later, we all sat down to eat Great Aunt Loretta's surprise anniversary meal. Fried egg and banana pasta with raw onion sprinkles. Come on, beat up! You're still wearing your necklace then? Oh yes, something to treasure forever. A bit like this, eh, Jason? This is me, Jason Mason. This is my house, where I live with my mum, dad, sister Jemima, grandpa and his dog, Beowulf. It was a sunny, sunny sand Saturday and I was playing cars with grandpa. I'm going to beat you today, Jason. As usual, mm. grandpa was getting very excited. Or to win, Wolfie. And, as usual, so was Beowulf. This wasn't going to be a usual kind of Saturday. Oh, no! This was going to be a Saturday full of surprises. Watch me, Grandpa! My sister Jemima was about to go to her jazz class. And catwalk. And pivot and kickball change. And pirouette. And catwalk. And pivot and kickball change. And pirouette. And show it to the ceiling. Show it to the floor. And big finish. Yay! <laughs> Bravo! What a good little dancer you are. You take after me, you know. I used to be a good little dancer. Oh, Grandpa, you were so not a dancer. See you later, Grandpa. Give my love to you know who. You know who? Grandpa had forgotten that today we were expecting a visit from Great Aunt Loretta. Oh, yes. Grandpa's sister was coming. She makes really weird food, like sausage with sardine sauce. And she drinks green gloop. And she's always stubbing her toe. We have a pack of peas in the freezer that we always put on it. And she's often like this. Or like this. And she makes Grandpa feel like this. Oh no, not Loretta. Please, not Loretta. She's grumpy, she's bossy, she's miserable. And I have never, ever seen her laugh. If only we could make her laugh, Jason. That's never going to happen. Oh, isn't it? Not a shrinking cap, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get to put all kinds of magical things. He can fly off in my plane. so fast I can't catch him. He can hide behind things. Get down, Grandpa! He can even get into my car and make it go. And often I have no idea where he is. Suddenly I heard the doorbell. There was nothing for it. I had to answer the door. And I don't need to tell you who was there. Jason, big kiss for great Aunt Loretta. Mm. Ugh. What a mess. Your parents spent too much time working in that bicycle shop, if you ask me. <coughs> don't you start. Great Aunt Loretta <coughs> isn't keen on Beowulf. <coughs> 
And Beowulf isn't keen on Great Aunt Loretta. Where is he? Where's that grandpa of yours? No! Oh, breakfast things still on the table! <laughs> if there's something to trip over, Great Aunt Loretta will find it. And she'd found my car. Oh, that wretched thing! You're always leaving it about, Jason! Where's the peas? Yet again, that bag of peas was coming in useful. Ah! I suppose Grandpa's having one of his little lie-downs. I'm the only oh. one who knows about Grandpa's shrinking cap. Everyone else thinks he's gone for a lie-down when he's missing. He's so lazy. He always was. The bad news was that Great Aunt Loretta had hurt her toe. Oh. The good news was my car was in the kitchen. And that meant Grandpa must be in the kitchen too. But where? Oh. 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 Ah, oh. Oh. <gasps> I couldn't oh. fish him out of the teapot, but oh. now I knew where he was. All I had to do was to keep him in there. But Great Aunt Loretta had other plans. Right, let's get rid of this. Help! Was that you, Jason Mason? Help! Of course I had to pretend it was. Oh, I see. Your idea of a joke. Not funny. Great Aunt Loretta needed a glass of her spinach and sprout green gloop. Mm. Oh, jammy jumblies. That's what I need now. At last. Now was my chance to get Grandpa out of the bin. We haven't made her laugh, Grandpa. And she thinks you're having a little lie down. I am, on a bed of tea bags and a bit of old cod. Grandpa smelt very fishy. My plan was to get him to his bedroom. These shelves are filthy. Where do you think you're going, Jason Mason? At least take that box with you. <sighs> As I bent down to pick up the toy box, Grandpa jumped out of my pocket. Quick as a flash, he hid in Beowulf's basket, next to his squeaky toy. Oh, that dog smells like a bit of old cod. You'll be sorry if you make another squeak. And the word squeak gave Grandpa his next idea. <coughs> Of course, I had to pretend it was me. That's not funny at all, Jason Mason. You need to watch your step. And I need a duster. I decided to keep the squeaky toy away from Grandpa. There was no way we were going to get Great Aunt Loretta to laugh. But he wouldn't give up. No! Grandpa! This time, Grandpa had gone too far. Great Aunt Loretta thinks my plane is radio controlled. Of course, she has no idea that it's Grandpa's magic that makes it work. Oh, 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 oh sorry. Oh, don't you ever do that again, Jason. Really, really sorry. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Suddenly, I saw Grandpa and the squeaky toy in the jammy jumbly tin. Oh. Oh, the only thing that'll make me feel better is another jammy jumbly. That's not a good idea. Of course it is. It isn't. It is. Isn't. Is. Isn't. Is. Hello. <laughs> I am the genie of jammy jumblies. Come to magic joy and laughter into your life. This is my wise and trusty chicken. <laughs> Say hello, wise and trusty chicken. Let there be lights. Let there be music. Let there be laughter. Now, I know you might find it hard to believe because it's quite an odd thing for a grandpa to do. But before I knew it, he was waltzing on the table with a chicken. And then he started on the ballet. It was working! Grandpa's plan was working! <laughs>
Great Aunt Loretta was laughing. And that laugh got even bigger when he started on the rock and roll. The sugar in my tea, you're the icing. Icing. The icing on my cake. Come on, Jason. You're now it's our turn. Ooh, and again. Oh, this feels wonderful. I should have done it. Grandpa's plan had worked. Great Aunt Loretta was laughing and dancing. Grandpa took off his genie costume and dropped the toy. Great Aunt Loretta was too busy to notice him whipping off his cap and coming back to his normal size. And just in time, because the others were home. How weird is that? Pretty weird. I'm dreaming. Pinch me. Oh. Come on, join in. <laughs> oh, there was this little genie you see in the jammy jumblies. And he was dancing with a chicken. <laughs> he was so cute. You're the honey. She's laughing. <laughs> we did it, Jason. Teamwork, eh? <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> You're the gravy. in the jammy jumbly tin. How odd. <laughs> Phew, Grandpa, you smell like a piece of old cod. <laughs> Grandpa in my pocket. Mum and Dad had gone away with my sister Jemima for the weekend. Jemima was in a dance competition. Jemima's always dancing and I couldn't go to watch her this time because I had a sore throat. I was feeling quite miserable and I wasn't the only one. Grandpa was feeling miserable too and even Beowulf was feeling miserable because guess who'd come to look after us? There's a bee! There's a bee in the kitchen! It was Great Aunt Loretta, Grandpa's sister! It's after me! <laughs> Great Aunt Loretta cooks very odd food, like sausage with sardine sauce. She's always drinking spinach and sprout shake. Grandpa calls it green gloop. And she's always stubbing her toe. We have a pack of peas in the freezer that we always put on it. And she's often like this. Or like this. And she makes Grandpa feel like this. There's no sign of a bee, Loretta. I'm the only busy bee round here. Bzzz. You? Busy? You're never busy. You're lazy, you are. But how wrong could she be? Because today was definitely going to be... Bzzz. Grandpa's Busy Bee Day. Lemon bonbon, Jason. It'll help your sore throat. No lemon bonbons allowed. What he needs is green gloop. Yuck. Oh, goodness me. You have got a temperature, Jason Mason. Bed. Oh, no, please let me sit on set with Grandpa's. Uh, uh, boys with temperatures stay in bed until they're better. Please let me stay on set with Grandpa. Please. He's going to read me a Captain Dumbletwit story. Yes, go on, please, Loretta. We were halfway through it. It's very I just exciting. knew Great Aunt Loretta we wouldn't let Grandpa come now. upstairs with me. Let him stay. I'll just get you a drink and then I'll take you up to bed. I hope that bee's gone. It's no good. If she's making you go upstairs, I'll have to find a way of getting you back down. Not a shrinking gap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get to put all kinds of magical things. He can get into my car and make it go. My toy seagull. He can fly off in my 
my plane. When Grandpa's got an idea in his head, there's no stopping him. And this time, his idea was to fly up to my room in my plane. Oh, so Grandpa's gone for a little lie down, has he? So much for you being a busy bee, eh? Come on, up we go. Whenever Grandpa disappears, everyone thinks he's gone for a little lie down. Oh. I'm the only one who knows about Grandpa's magic shrinking oh. cap, and I knew for sure he wasn't lying down. He must have landed safely because the plane was on my bed. But where was he hiding? Right. Drink it up. Nothing like spinach and sprout shake to chase the germs away. I wanted to chase Great Aunt Loretta away. I knew Grandpa would try to help. But how? Psst. What's that noise? It sounds like a bee. Ah! Not another one! Ooh, get out! Out! Wherever you are! Out! We soon found out where the buzzing was coming from. It's in the tin. It's in the crayon tin. All right. Now the whole tin goes out the window. I'll sort it, Great Aunt Loretta. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I knew exactly what was in the tin, and it wasn't a bee. It was Grandpa. Call me when you've got rid of it. Grandpa! <laughs> Come out of there. Have you got rid of it? Nearly, Great Aunt Loretta. If I were you, I'd get rid of the green gloop. You're right. You go to the bathroom and I'll hide. Yep. It's gone, Great Aunt Loretta. Can't be too careful. Where there's one bee, there's often more. Oh, you good boy. I'll make you something to eat. Kipper and marmalade sandwiches. Best thing for sore throats. Yeah, you can't eat a kipper and marmalade sandwich. I'll go and find you some grapes and a jammy jumbly biscuit. And maybe even a lemon bombo. No, Grandpa, bad idea. But there was no stopping him. Grandpa was off. I didn't know how Grandpa was planning to get a lemon bonbon and grapes and a jammy jumbly biscuit up the stairs. Whoa. And I was worried that Great Aunt Loretta would see him. <laughs> One lovely kipper. And don't think you're getting any, you greedy guts. Ooh, yum. One kipper and marmalade sandwich. Oh, one jug of parsnip juice. Ah! Oh, another bee! Another! Oh, 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 oh. Ah! <laughs> While Great Aunt Loretta was busy being scared in the garden, ah! Grandpa was busy hiding yummy things to eat under the kipper and marmalade sandwich. She was too busy looking for the bee to notice him. Well, has he gone? <laughs> As if you'd know. Right. Great Aunt Loretta set off with the tray. Then... What's he doing down here? It was upstairs. Oh, the things I do for this family. Oh, ow. Ow. I tripped over your wretched plane. I've no idea how it got downstairs. Maybe the bee flew it down. Oh, don't you talk to me about bees, Jason Mason. I could see where Grandpa had hidden the goodies, but where had he hidden himself? It wasn't long before I found out. 
parsnip juice. Nearly as good for you as green glue. Ah! Ooh! Oh, it's in the beaker! There's a bee in the beaker! I'll drown it! No! I grabbed the beaker, but then... Now the bed's all soaked! Ooh. Sorry, I didn't mean to! Ooh. Get rid of it and come down at once! I need you to protect me! There are bees everywhere! Grandpa! <laughs> Have a grape and a lemon bonbon as well. Ooh, I'm looking forward to a bite of that. <laughs> After we'd shared the grapes and the jammy jumbly, I put Grandpa in my dressing gown pocket and brought him downstairs. Are you there, Jason? Yes, just checking for bees, Great Aunt Loretta. I put him down on the floor. Off came his shrinking cap and he came back to his normal size. Have you got rid of them all? Yes, the house is bee free. I knew we'd find a way of getting it back downstairs, Jason. Yep. Teamwork. Teamwork. Bzzz. Bzzz. <laughs> <laughs> and Captain Dumbletwit could hear in the distance. Soon, Please. Grandpa was reading me a Captain Dumbletwit story. And Great Aunt Loretta was snoozing and resting her poor toe. <sighs> The bag of frozen peas had come in useful again. And Captain Dumbletwit crept towards the spaceport. The terrible croaking noise was getting louder and louder. <laughs> the doors of the alien spaceport slid slowly open, and to Captain Dumbletwit's amazement, there sat the wartiest, ugliest, slimiest toad he had ever seen. And he cried to the others, It's a toad! Ah, a toad! Did you say a toad? I did, Loretta. Oh, I don't like toads! And we've only just got rid of all the bees! Oh, call me when you've got rid of it! in my pocket. This is me, Jason Mason. This is my house where I live with my mum, dad, sister Jemima and grandpa. And today was a very exciting one for grandpa. Oh, this is so exciting. What is it? Is it something to do with Captain Dumbletwit? Captain Dumbletwit is grandpa's oh. favourite cartoon. Which is why I gave him the poster of it for his birthday. Captain Dumbletwit and the Invasion of the Alien Poodles. It's my favourite episode. I love it. And my sister Jemima gave him a Captain Dumbletwit telescope. I can see you, Grandpa. Oh, I'm over here. And Mum was doing her new hobby. Mum's always taking up new hobbies. One week it's karate, then it's salsa dancing, photography, the ukulele, knitting. Opera singing. And now cake decorating. Which is why she'd made Grandpa. Ta da! Captain Dumbletwit's spaceship cake! It's wonderful! I know! It's too good to cut! I know! Mum was really proud of her cake. Whoa! Imagine going to the moon in that, Grandpa! That's what Captain Dumbletwit does, Jason. And he brings back some moon dust. Oh, I'd love to have some moon dust! I'm sure you would. You're not going to believe this. What? what? It's her. Who? <laughs> Great Aunt Loretta. Oh, yes. Grandpa's sister was coming. She makes really weird food, like sausage with sardine sauce. And she drinks green gloop. And she's always stubbing her toe. We have a pack of peas in the freezer that we always put on it. And she's often like this. Or 
paw like this. And she makes Grandpa feel like this. Oh, no, not Loretta. I'll go. I'm going outside to tell Dad. Happy birthday, Grandpa. I brought you some green glue tops. Grandpa didn't want any green gloop tarts. He had another plan. You're the shrinking cap, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get to put all kinds of magical things. He can get into my car and make it go. Grandpa, stop! Playing, Grandpa. He can fly off in my plane. Grandpa, come back. Just run for all he's worth. Grandpa, get down. Somebody will see you. Just having a bit of fun, Jason. Can't I have a bit of fun on my birthday? Yes, but can't you have a bit of fun without shrinking? Ah, uh ah. -uh. I want to get into my cake, see? Whee! Jason? Um. Whee! Just pretending to fly in Captain Dumbledore's spaceship. Yes, it really is rather good, isn't it? Oh, Grandpa gone for a little lie down, has he? On his birthday. Oh, well, I'm starving. Chocolate cake. Let's cut it. I'll get a knife. Oh, no. No, we can't cut it without Grandpa. It's his birthday, after all. We managed to get Aunt Loretta oh. away from the cake. Let's play a party game. Yeah, birthdays and a birthday without party games. Musical statues, OK? Help me up, Jack. I thought Grandpa would get into his cake when we went in the garden, but... I brought it out so I can keep an eye on it. He'd missed his chance. I was more interested in finding out what happened to Grandpa than playing musical statues. If his plan was to get into his cake, then I guessed he'd be out here soon. So you move, Jason. You're out. Oh, oh. Jason. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. If Grandpa was going to get into his cake, he'd need a plan to get all of us back inside. And his plan was to bite Great Aunt Loretta's toe. Ah! Ah! Oh! Ah! 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 Insect. Great Aunt Loretta is always hurting her foot, and we always put a bag of frozen peas on it. Ooh, trust you to have some horrible little insect in your garden. Ow! Meanwhile, Grandpa was determined to get into that cake. Grandpa, Mum's coming. Thought I'd better take it inside for safekeeping. Thank goodness she hadn't seen Grandpa. Come on, Jason. Aunt Loretta started on the green gloop tarts. Yuck. There was nothing for it. I had to go. And don't think you're getting any, you greedy guts. Great Aunt Loretta isn't keen on Beowulf. Mm -hmm. And Beowulf isn't keen on Great Aunt Loretta. So he hid under the table. What I didn't know was that Grandpa was hiding there too. But I soon found out. <laughs> Grandpa ran to hide, and Beowulf ran into the garden. Oh, it was you! You are Now he got rid of everyone, Grandpa grabbed his chance. He climbed up the table leg towards his spaceship cake. Grandpa, where are you going? To the moon, of course. You know when Grandpa gets into a toy car or a toy plane, he can make them go? Well, it's the same with a spaceship cake. Grandpa! Come back! Come back! But I could.
couldn't stop him. Grandpa had gone to the moon in his own cake. I rushed into the kitchen and put the lid back on the tray. I didn't want anyone to notice the cake was missing. But the cake wasn't all that was missing. Beowulf has run off to the beach. We're going after him. Can you take Aunt Loretta the peas, please? I was really worried about Grandpa. Maybe he was on the moon now with Captain Doubletwit and the alien poodles. I hoped he wouldn't be gone long. I'd miss him. I have a lot of fun with Grandpa. We play games together. We share our ice cream. We suck up our spaghetti. And I just hoped he'd come down to Earth very soon. I wondered if he'd bring anything back with him. That's if he could find his way back. Suddenly, I saw a speck in the sky. Grandpa was coming home. I'll be right back. I raced into the kitchen to get the cake tray. And raced back out again with it. I was just in time. Grandpa made a perfect landing. Out he came. I quickly picked him up and put him down on the grass. He whipped off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. Grandpa, I was so worried about you. But don't need to worry. I had a great time. Did you meet Captain Dumbledore? Of course. And the alien poodle? Of course, and... Dust. Wow! Oh, thanks, Grandpa. I couldn't have done it without you. Teamwork. Teamwork. <laughs> we found him! What? Grandpa, you're awake. Oh. Yes. Oh. Good! Now we can have that chocolate cake. I shall feel better when I made some cake. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's the matter? Later that evening, Grandpa and I were admiring the moon dust. You're amazing, Grandpa. I can't believe you actually went to the moon. Oh, yes. And when you're a Grandpa, you can have my magic cap and you'll be able to go to the moon too. Hot chocolate, Grandpa. As if you hadn't had enough chocolate today. Goodness, you've even got a bit on your ear. Anyone would think you'd been right inside that spaceship cake. <laughs> 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 